Randy, thanks so much. 631 now here on your Friday morning. New breaking details just into our newsroom about a police chase and arrest that we've been telling you about all morning long. This shut the interstate down for hours and involved several police departments in Ohio and Kentucky. WLWT News Live's Daniel Dindek is live along 7175 in Northern Kentucky. Danielle, you've been reaching out to police all morning and you just got some new information about who was arrested here. Yes, good morning, Stephen, and that's exactly right. All morning long, we have been making phone calls to try to figure out what exactly shut down this interstate behind me for hours this morning. What a chaotic scene it was as this chase spanned both state borders and multiple miles. Like you mentioned, I just got some new information from police and the prosecutor here in Kenton County, but I want you to take a look at some of this video of where this chase ended near Kyle's Lane exit on 7175 South. Now, I just found out from Covington police that they assisted Cincinnati with a vehicle pursuit of a suspect with multiple felony warrants out of Kentucky. He stopped his car near Kyle's Lane and refused to exit the vehicle. Eventually, officers were able to remove him from the car and he was taken into custody. Now, we did find out that that man's name is John C. Lewis. He is 38 years old and he was arrested for first degree fleeing from police, receiving stolen property and possession of a controlled substance. That substance we are told was fentanyl. Now, all of those charges are felony charges. And we also found out that Lewis was wanted out of Ohio for burglary and robbery. So all this new information just coming in within the last few minutes here. So we're going to continue to update you on this ongoing investigation, but definitely a scary sight for people who are out here early this morning. This all started just before midnight and ended up this interstate behind me was shut down until around 145 this morning. Back up traffic on this interstate, but thankfully, as you can see, it is flowing now. All this new information just coming in, so we'll make sure to put it up on our website, WLWT.com, within the next few minutes there as well. But reporting live here in Northern Kentucky, Danielle Dindak, WLWT News 5. Danielle, thanks so much. Great work, great update for us. We do appreciate it. All right, more breaking news out.